Hey, what's up everyone? On today's episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going back out to Justin's house to check out the filtration on his 90 gallon reef system. So let's get to it. So this week's Roscoe's Reef is going to be about the filtration of Justin and Kelly's 90-gallon uh, reef system. As you saw last week, the system is basically comprised of frags with a lot of high flow. He's an SPS dominant tank, but the one reaction that I got uh, mostly across the all the comments was um, how much flow he has and also that floating canopy. Well, on today's episode, you're going to see how the brace was set up and also how he set up his wiring and his apex system and just how organized his filtration is. So with that being said, let's head out to Justin's and check out his filtration. How long as far as maintenance? None. No? Uh, every two, three days I have to clean the glass. That's it? That's about it. Yeah. And the pumps or anything? Uh, well, you really, it's only been up. You're two months, right? Two months. Uh, about every two weeks, I clean the waves. I clean my skimmer. Um, I do have to get around to, with cleaning all this sand out, it has been lodged into my sump. I run cyclists. So there is dirt in my skimmer section and in my uh, return section that I have to get out. And I do want to clean my pumps. So did you always run sockless or is that? I'm running the Triton method, so they recommend some or sockless. I did put a sock in yesterday just because I was cleaning the, the sand, mm -hmm. so I figured get all that stuff out of there into a sock. But I don't run socks. I hate washing them. I hate cleaning them. Have you washed them? I have washed them. Yes. <laughs> I want to say a foot, 16 inch hole through the wall and I run my three pipes from my ghost overflow through the wall, one and one half, I kept the same plumbing and it goes through the wall into, comes out here, I have everything <coughs> tied up to the uh, shelf, it comes down, this is a 40 breeder, uh, I went to, I believe it was Exotic Customs or something like that. He did my uh, baffles for me. Did a heck of a job. It came in cut perfect. I just had to silicone it. Um, I did add a couple of extras to the tank. If you look, I added a height. I have a ruler right here, so I'm at 11 inches mm -hmm. for my skimmer. My skimmer's three inches off the ground because I made a I made a plate to raise it up so I could run a higher amount of water in mm -hmm. my sump. So it's three inches, so my skimmer is in eight inches of water. Uh, I run carbon, phosphate. Uh, everything comes in. I got two mangroves. I don't have the best refugium right now. Bull Cheeto. He doesn't have the best refugium right now. <laughs> I don't. It's small. But you're running just about. I see you have. A collective cup for your. Yeah, what kind I just, of protein skin do you have? I have a Reef Octopus Regal 170 INT. It is quiet. Yeah, it, it is. is. The most volume on this tank, honestly, is the water. Just because I have so much, I'm pushing so much volume, is the water cascading either into the tank or through the sump. And what do you want with the phosphate meter? Uh, right now I'm running Foes Band, Antelopes. Okay. Yeah, I'm running uh, two little fishies. And then after that I'm going to run Rolofaz. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to switch to AL99 Tritons. Did you think you were going to be running, what is that, Biofell or something? What, this one? Yeah. That is CDX. And what's that for? That's two, uh, it's two little fishies. Carbon dioxide absorption meter. Oh, okay. And so do you make yourself... Yeah, I pumped it. Pretty much. I, uh, like I said, I never was under 8.2. 
And I wanted to see, so I pumped it, I put this in and pumped it up to 8.4 pH. And from then, a couple corals really took off, growing extra limbs and everything like that. So mm -hmm. it was more of a test for me to see if it would happen. What would happen? Is that the exterior wall? Hmm? Is that the exterior wall? Yeah, it's outside. So would you ever think about running your, your line outside? I was. I just wanted to see the benefits. I had CDX because at the other apartment before we moved, mm -hmm. my pH was pretty low. It's at a nine. So I had some left over. I just wanted to see what would work. Mm -hmm. But a couple of those corals have actually, in three days, I've seen growth from taking pictures on my phone just to look. I don't think I want to run without it anymore. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe set up a solenoid where at 8.2. If anything lower than 8.2, I use a scrub or anything else. It all starts with I ran two, two dedicated 20 amp outlets, um, one for each EV8, just in case I lose one, I don't lose everything. I have everything split up. So one return pump's on one, the other return pump's on the other. Same thing with lights. My right side's on this one, my left side's on this one. Everything left side of my tank is this, right side's that. Um, pretty much, I mean, I have the one link for my waves, fluid min uh, monitoring kit. I have for my returns right here and for my carbon and phosphate. So my lights are here on this board. This board is what actually holds up my canopy. Right. So everything then comes down. And like I said, my EV8s are plugged both into those outlets and mm -hmm. they're run underneath here. It's more of a nice rat's nest of stuff. These are all, uh, that's the 50-50. That's my waves. That's my refugium light. Um, let's see if I can. Uh, MP10, both returns, and skimmer. That's what they all stand for. Uh, this is right here. This is connected for, as of right now, I have my refugium light on and my night lights are on. So I run this into there and that's where everything plugs in my refugium light my two leds for the moonlight and my uh tuna blue and you got your own reef link yeah my, no that is actually i uh my reef links in the closet that is an what apple is uh wi-fi that is connected directly to my apex so i ran i hardwired it everything's hardwired no wi-fi for me i don't trust wi-fi so here, if you watch, this is, if I shut it off, it's all shut off. So that controls everything on my night light side. Um, and you got your tablet and your phone hooked up. Yes, I do. So my right side is all my flow to fluid monitoring. If you follow it, flow is five. And that's just through my waves. Mm -hmm. They say for, Apex says you want like a five to the seven for SPS. Well, I have a five just with my waves, not counting 1811 and 1855 return flow, mm -hmm. which this one right here is 1855. I have it on a manifold, feeding the carbon. It goes right up through my wall, through the sea swirl and down. The other one has a little bit longer to run, so it goes under here, comes up, goes down through the wall, into the sea swim. and out. Both of them are at the same place. My orp, so last night I did uh, at fuel, so my orp is around 4, 413, and every time I feed it, the fuel, it drops down to 300. So that's what you do, you, you feed the fuel? Once a week, honest to God, I don't do it that much. I realize totally, everything I've done is with the triton elements which are right here, I run them. I've been dosing 12 milliliters a day, the Triton elements, all four of them. And you found no problem with that? None at all. They, I, I believe, I've had SPS before, these are the best I've had. I don't know whether it's the lighting, the flow, the combination of everything, but as of right now, this is the nicest I've had it. What's the honor switch? Oh, uh, that's to shut off my skimmer. 
Oh, okay. So if I'm doing maintenance on it, I don't have to go through my tablet. Very nice. And then I can just turn it back on. Comes right back on. The other one's gonna be for my return pumps. Yeah, I am working on that. I haven't. Oh, you haven't wired it in yet? I haven't done it for the, the uh, return pumps that night yet. Because it's just as easy for the return pumps just to hit me. Yeah. I'd clean my skimmer a little bit more than I do my return pumps. Let's drop that and see how you get front set up. It's, a, it's not how I wanted it, but it has worked out. <laughs> but still, it's pretty darn nice considering that's not the way you wanted it. Not at all. I just ran out of room. There's so many wires. Okay, uh, What do you use for dosing containers? I use Vox bottles, so 850 milliliter Vox bottles. I just ran into a problem with my number two going full siphon. Um, it's, I bought it from Reef Breeders and Logan's been nothing but great at Reef Breeders. It's just, there's been problems with certain aspects of so the So you just gotta iron out, but you were yeah. dosing. You were dosing calcium alkalinity and magnesium? Uh, the tri I'm do dosing the, the trident tri coral. Yeah, 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 core yeah. elements. So three and four are alkalinity, one's magnesium, and two is calcium. Um, I, I forget what they're called. There's certain kind of bulkheads. I have a, <coughs> I have these in the tank. They're like regular murlocs, right? Yeah, they're murloc. That's what it is, murloc. And I have. Yes. The hard. I have the hard stuff inside, and then I'm using um, Neptune DOS uh, tubing. RODI order. Yes, I, here's. I measured it out. It's two grams. I okay, just, so you make your own food? No, I use LRS. LRS. But I weigh it for two grams. I add RODI water. I put them in this lovely ice cube tray, and it comes out like that. Where'd you get your ice cream tray from? I got it, uh, I got it from some kind of food place. <laughs> it, uh, I actually got the idea from TSM. TSM does the same thing. Okay. It makes it easier. It's a heck of a lot easier than cutting it in half. I spent one day at, uh, cutting everything up for two grams. I just throw it in there. That's good. It's well thought out. Yes. I spent my time. Yeah. I made a promise to the boy that everything would be nice and and you've accomplished Indian that. Order and my halo I just turned on. I'll take a look at that. If you wanna. I made her a promise and I plan to keep that because. Well, happy wife. Happy wife. Happy, happy life. life. And I, I allow this to continue because <laughs> I love, you know. But you're into it too. And I'm like, well, that's the thing. I like being a part of it when it is run like this. And he's put extensive research into this. Yes. It's well thought out. So the money that's spent, the time that's spent, it's, to me, it's worth it. It's an investment that's worth it. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.